Um, yeah, the ones that are therapeutically useful, uh, such as, as vitamin E and vitamin C, uh, actually uh, shift the balance inside the cell. Uh, vitamin C is known to be in a very highly oxidized condition, so it isn't really the vitamin C we know. Right. It's uh, dehydroascorbate when it is inside a healthy cell. Okay. And um, these are maintaining uh, the, uh, uh, it's actually a constant flow of electrons, but the, the balance at every moment is uh, pushed in the direction closer to oxygen and farther from the reducing electrons. Uh, and so if you're deficient in vitamin E and vitamin C and so on, the electrons uh, predominate and uh, shift uh, over to uh, uh, re reducing the sulfur groups all through the cell into the sulfhydryl form, uh, right. promoting inflammation. And if you think about what happens when any kind of injury happens, whether it's a, a, a microbe or uh, getting stuck with a thorn or whatever, uh -huh. you, you disrupt the ability of the, the organized tissue to deliver oxygen and sugar and other uh, nutrients to the cell. Right. And, and so the cell in that area is starved, can't oxidize, and it has an immediate shift over to the, uh, basically, the antioxidant uh, side. Uh, the, the cell uh, has a, a, a variety of enzymes that uh, function as antioxidants, but uh, they are only activated uh, during injury or stress. And uh, what happens to the cells in that condition is the sulfhydryls are, are reduced, the mitotic apparatus is activated, the cells de-differentiate, lose their functions except to grow and divide and move. So they creep into the injured area and multiply to repair the area. And then if, they, if the surrounding organism is able to deliver oxygen and sugar and other nutrients, then they are able to differentiate and finish the healing process. All right. All right. So, so this whole... Um theory of antioxidant that we don't want to oxidize things is really we want the cell to be oxidizing and an injured cell is not using the oxygen it's actually in an anti-oxygen state um yeah and uh, if you get stuck in the antioxidant state that uh, keeps the healing process from being completed and and that's where cancer is it's stuck in the uh, inflamed antioxidant state uh, only able to divide without uh, knowing exactly what it should be doing. So how can we understand, sorry, under, how can okay. we understand how CoQ10 and naringenin and apigenin are actually working on the inside of the cell, the apigenin and naringenin from like orange peel, marmalade and... Celery seeds. Huh? And um, apigenin from celery seeds. Those uh, potent the, antioxidants, as we're told, they're antioxidants, but how are they actually working in the cell? Uh, well, uh, the coenzyme Q10 is now known uh, to fit uh, very specifically in the, uh, certain places in the mitochondria uh, that uh, deliver electrons to the uh, electron transport system, delivering it uh, ultimately to oxygen to uh, uh, complete the uh, production of ATP and carbon dioxide. Uh, so it, it plugs right into the, the oxidative system. So it's actually uh, oxidizing. Uh, it's oxidizing everything upstream uh, to deliver those electrons into the oxidizing uh, 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 pigments, which deliver the electrons to oxygen. So it, it's a necessary link between oxygen and the uh, all of the reducing uh, factors. So um, if you don't have that link, uh, that's one of the essential links that uh, you, you need to prevent the electrons from going into the uh, growth cell division system.
Right, because if they don't have, if the cells don't have enough oxygen, then they'll start dividing and potentially becoming cancerous if they don't get that oxygen and the oxidizing process happening. Yeah, and where the actual uh, antioxidant function comes in is when you have an oversupply of uh, polyunsaturated fats, for example, uh, in uh, when when you don't have enough oxygen and go into that inflamed cell division state, uh, the electrons that can't be uh, taken up by oxygen are free to uh, locate on iron atoms, for example. And the iron, when it's reduced, uh, there's always some potential iron, uh, but uh, the older you are, the more free iron there's likely to be in your cells. Uh, the electrons activate the iron, which then attacks any of the uh, polyunsaturated fats in the environment, and uh, that uh, sets up an oxygen-consuming system which produces nothing of value. Uh, the electrons have no place proper to go, so they go to iron, which uh, then gives its electron to the polyunsaturated fat, uh, which becomes a free radical uh, and uh, consumes, reacts directly, then sometimes with oxygen or with more, more iron, and you get uh, cycles of uh, oxidation without purpose. Right, okay, so you want the oxidation to be in the cell producing carbon dioxide using sugar and oxygen and the whole proper cellular respiration be going on, not to where you're in this reduced state or your your body, the PUFA, the polyunsaturated fats are so hungry for oxygen and so is the iron and so those things are oxidizing and not producing. Is that a good way to understand it? Uh, yeah, and in the process of consuming oxygen, they are creating oxygen starvation. Right. And and so they're setting up the situation uh, to to spread. Uh, so it's a very energy wasteful uh, situation. Yeah, yeah an yeah. oxygen wasting system. Yeah. Is that because the polyunsaturates will attract the oxygens more strongly than the respiring cell? Um, yeah, yeah, they become a, a, a trap for oxygen, and as they deteriorate, they interact with the iron and proteins and create uh, imitation oxidative enzymes, except uh, uh, as a short circuit directly between NADH and oxygen by way of the uh, iron and uh, uh, proteins that are condensed uh, in the form of age pigment or lipofuscin made up of polyunsaturated fats and parts of the cell which have been destroyed. Uh, and th so those function as a very powerful oxygen sink, uh, keeping the mitochondria uh, from getting the oxygen they need. So you don't want to. So that's why you don't want to eat fried foods that are fried in liquid vegetable oils right. because you're going to create a, a oxygen starvation for your cells that need the oxygen because the vegetable oil is going to soak it all up. Um. Yeah. And uh, w with time, uh, as th that process accumulates, uh, for example, small amounts, uh, uh, practically invisible, of, of the age pigment uh, begin accumulating and uh, keeping the cells in a state in which they take up preferentially more of the polyunsaturated fats if they're available. And so with age, uh, organs like the brain, which are normally uh, very high energy users, become slowed down and reduced and uh, preferentially concentrate more and more of the highly unsaturated fats, uh, especially DHA, uh, the, the predominant fat in fish oil, uh, concentrates more and more in the brain with age and uh, makes the brain more and more susceptible to uh, the uh, lipid peroxidation and uh, losing, losing function because the oxygen is being diverted 